Okay, this boat's starting to come along. In this video, we're gonna begin working on some of those finishing touches, including installing the captain's chair and also fixing up the anchor light. Stick around. All right. Now that we've got this boat almost done, it's time to put a, a captain's chair right here. I sure am thankful that these are made out of fiberglass. But these guys are not made out of fiberglass and they rust and bend so terribly. Luckily, SkiNautiqueParts.com sells the replacement and these brackets were used on a number of years of Ski Nautiques. Let's swap them out. Take three. This is what comes with the kit. Not long enough. I went and got longer ones. They're too long. Three times a charm? We'll see. much better. Now we need to screw this in to the floor where we want it. These are in tandem. Put the screws up so we can put this attached to the seat. We'll be ready to go. Back a ways, just move it up a little bit.
If you haven't seen it, here's the boat when we bought it. And now I'm going to rip out the dirty carpet in this dash tray and replace it with some of the sea deck that I always keep on hand. Here's one more issue that we're going to be trying to tackle right here. That rear light, somebody decided is a good idea to put a non-stainless steel screw in here. I went to pull it out and the screw snapped in half. So we're going to drill this out and get some stainless steel screws in here. But before we do, we better check on our ribs that we got smoking and get them ready to go. Got a dry rub that's been on here. Some people are going to be critical of the sweet baby rays. Just going to get a little bit of wetness on here. These have been five hours on the Traeger. can't do anything right. I mean, this boat's falling apart. The, that thing's falling apart. So. a lot of screw to go through you know I think. it is what probably will have to happen it's just like you have a loose screw in like a door frame how it's stripped out and you can take like toothpicks and put them down in there and that screw grabs a hold of those toothpicks yeah have you seen that trick before uh -huh. that's probably what will have to happen This handyman trick is very easy to use. You could use it on your interior doors. If you strip out a screw on a door, the tricks you can use is take just your standard run-of-the-mill kitchen wooden toothpicks and just kind of grab a few of them. You're going to put them down in the hole where the screw will go. And what this does is if a screw is stripped out, it gives something for the screw to grab a hold of so that you get a tight fit, just like so. So once we figure out how many toothpicks we want to put in the hole, we'll put them in there, we'll, we'll cut the toothpicks off so that you won't see them, and then we'll be able to run the stainless steel screw down in the hole, and as good as new. Well, I hate to say it, but before we, before we use your system here for putting that in there, we should probably make sure that this works. Because <laughs> I've never hooked it up a light to it. Huh. Yeah, I've got a new light that we ordered off Amazon. Very standard two prong hole. Front lights work? Bow lights work. Let's see if this thing works. Screws go this way. Okay. Call it a no go. Got no power. Nope, oh, it's on. Oh, yep. Yeah. What did I just do? So, what we decided on was three toothpicks 
put them down on the hole, brought them back out, cut them off. Oh my goodness, that's like holding your, it. Thread your screw right back down there like you just normally would. You don't even have the other two screws no, in. It's not two going screws anywhere. in, and it's already solid enough that you can move the cover back and forth without the cover plate moving. Thank God for true homegrown Indiana country boys like you. Look at that, we got two more new screws left. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. If you're not subscribed, you might wanna do that because in the next video, I'm gonna be using a side truck mirror to fabricate the rear view mirror for an 80s ski boat. That's right, that's how they did it.